Good morning, people. Watch from 65, Lisa Boyce. I'm going to give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. That Christ spilled his blood for our past, present, and future sins, was buried, and rose again on the third day, according to Scripture. We're saved by grace through faith in Christ alone. It's all about the blood, the blood of Jesus. Not of ourselves, not of works, least any man should boast. That's the simple gospel right there. It is grace that God gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him will not perish but have eternal life. Period. That's how we're saved. That's how we're kept saved. No other way. It's not about works. It's not about us. It's about what Christ did at the cross. That's it. Once you accept Christ as Savior, the Holy Spirit indwells in you. You are sealed until the day of redemption. You are not only saved, but you are sealed until the day of redemption. The Holy Spirit comes into you and he will lead you and guide you in all righteousness. You will never lose your salvation. Period. You will never lose your salvation. Not only are you sealed and ready until the... Uh, but you are rapture ready and you're sealed until the day of redemption. My glasses get really dark from the sun. Um, I got to give you this article. I gave you the one uh, with the Russian ship in Hawaii. The people were writing me, my, some of my subscribers uh, told me about this one, and I found an article on it off of Politico. The U.S. is monitoring Iranian warships that may be headed to Venezuela. Now, this, <laughs> all of this, like I said, all of this is coming down at one time. All of these wars and rumors of wars are happening at one time. And I believe it's all about to explode. This one um, goes on to say, the U.S. national security community, excuse me, is monitoring two Iranian naval vessels whose ultimate destination may be Venezuela. According to three people familiar with the situation and what would be a provocative move at a tense moment in U.S.-Iran relations. I kept saying that I feel that something's about to happen. And I still feel it. An Iranian uh, frigate and um, I think Macron, a former oil tanker, that was converted to a floating forward staging base may um, have been heading south along the east coast of Africa, said the people who spoke on condition of anim um, anonymy. Anonymy. To discuss a sensitive subject. U.S. officials do not know for sure the destination of the Iranian ships, these officials said. This is really strange. And this is no coincidence. But believe they may be ultimately headed for Venezuela. Iran's intent in sending the, ves the vessels in the direction of the Western Hemisphere remains a mystery, the people said as does their cargo. The two countries, both of them facing severe U.S. sanctions, have developed closer, closer ties over the last few years. Now, it's awfully strange that you got a Russian ship that's docked in Hawaii, in the Pacific, and you got this ship this Iranian vessel that's headed to Venezuela. All of these countries have sanctions from the U.S. 
Senior officials in President uh, Maduro's government in Caracas have been advised that welcoming the Iranian warship would be a mistake. According to a person familiar with the discussions, but it's not clear whether Maduro has heeded that warning. At one point on Thursday, U.S. military uh, officials understood the ships had turned around, but as of Friday morning, they were still steaming south, one of the people said. Lawmakers uh, privy to the most sensitive intelligence information were informed over the uh, past few days that the U.S. believed the Iranian ships may be headed towards Venezuela but cautioned that the destination could change according to a person briefed on the matter. This is bad. This is real bad. The mere presence of Iranian warships in America's backyard will represent a U.S. challenge, represent a challenge to U.S. authority in the region and would likely inflame the debate in Washington over Sleepy Joe's decision to reopen negotiations with Tehran. Iranian media has claimed that the 755-foot-long Macron, which was commissioned this year, can serve as a platform. Listen to this. Listen very carefully. Can serve as a platform for electronic warfare and special operations mission. That's the same thing that that Russian ship yesterday that's docked in Hawaii they mention electronic warfare. Something is happening. And reading this, it gives me chills. This ship is huge. It's able to carry six to seven helicopters as well as drones. The timing of Iran's apparent westward foray is especially inopportune for those hoping for a lower, lowering the tensions with her, uh, Tehran. I'm going to link this article in the description box. Um, I, I can't help but to feel that something's happening. And I'd be lying if I sat here and said, no, nothing's going to come of this. Yeah, right. You got two ships. One is a Russian fleet that's docked in uh, the Pacific. And I haven't heard any more of that yet. And you got this one. That's going to Venezuela. This is not a coincidence. Not at all. It goes on to say, um, Last summer, U.S. authorities seized four ships carrying cargo from Iran to Venezuela. At one point on their journey, those ships and five others were traveling with an Iranian naval intelligence ship. U.S. officials told the paper, but the ships did not reach Venezuela. I don't know what's going to happen this time. This is interesting. Very interesting. I cannot emphasize enough on how important it is for you to get saved. Get saved. Quit arguing and fighting over ideology. Just believe in the finished work of Jesus Christ, make him your savior. It's not rocket science. It's not hard. I say it all the time. It's extremely simple. He's made it simple. The simplicity that is in Christ Jesus. We are in the dispensation of grace. This is the church age. We're in the gospel of Paul handed down from the Lord himself to Paul. Their only requirement is to believe. This is the easiest dispensation there is. 
the easiest because the only requirement in this dispensation of grace, which is the church age, is to believe in the finished work of Christ and what he did for you at the cross. The Holy Spirit will do the rest. The Holy Spirit will do the rest. I'm going to link this article in the description box. I will. Uh, I thank you for your support, your continued support. I pray for you guys daily. Matter of fact, I had a strong desire to pray for a lot of people or healing, um, blessings. I'm going to link this in the description box. I'll be back with the next video. And another thing. Go to my blog because I posted some stuff this morning that is mind-boggling, especially about a new d disease that's coming out. So, I'll be back at the next video. Thank you.